Um, well, tomorrow is Australia Day, as we said, a celebration of all things wonderful about this country and, as always, an acknowledgement of our shared history, good and bad. The usual naysayers are as active as ever with the usual invasion day, survival day, all that jug. But today the government announced that the copyright for the Aboriginal flag, yes, it was under copyright, has been transferred to public hands, costing $20 million. So you now own the copyright. Warren Mundine, young guy Warren Mundine, is a proud Indigenous Australian and he joins me now to chat about it. Warren, g'day, how are you? <laughs> I'm going good, mate. Happy Australia Day for tomorrow. And to you. So tell us, uh, you've been agitating for this uh, move with the uh, Aboriginal flag. So tell us why it's important that the copyright was bought, why the copyright was there in the first place. How significant is this to not only Indigenous Australians but all Australians? Uh, look, uh, for decades it was uh, uh, everyone, uh, you know, the, Harold Thomas, Put out the uh, uh, designed the flag and in Adelaide, for, and he saw other uh, ethnic groups within Australia uh, celebrating under their flag. So he thought there needed to be one for for Aboriginal people. So it was about bringing people together and celebrating, uh, you know, their Aboriginality, just like the Greeks and everyone else does. Uh, the then then a, a few years ago, it, he took out copyright on it. We won a court case, and, and of course. He deserved to have the copyright. He did design it, uh, and then people started to get charged for uh, the, the, the flag. And, and of course, I was a bit conflicted when I went to the, to the Senate they had inquiry to talk about the Aboriginal flag because I didn't want to see a person lose their copyright. But at the same time, it was uh, you know it was a very passionate and and loved thing within the Aboriginal community and also outside the Aboriginal community across Australia. Uh, and uh, so I suppose this is the only outcome, outcome that could have been done in, reg in regarding to freeing the flag up and, and removing that copyright so people can, do, uh, can use it. Um, now, Warren, many councils across Australia seem to be kind of using COVID as an excuse, the left-wing councils, to cancel or reduce their Australia Day celebrations. We, we know that many of them would like to scrap it all together, but they're kind of hiding behind... COVID, why, why are these woke councils so determined to try and cancel or uh, ignore or move Australia Day? Look, uh, Australia, we all want to come together, you know, and, and celebrate Australia Day, celebrate Australia. Uh, we're a, a, a unique country. Uh, uh, we have Indigenous people here, the first Australians. We have uh, communities who come here from all over the world, uh, you know, through the colonisation process and also through through immigration, especially after the Second World War, where millions of people come here and they and, and contributed and built this incredible nation. Uh, I, I don't, you know, of course, every country in the world has had a, a bad history and how it starts and how things happen, but the, the the thing that's important is how do you overcome those and how do you build a co cohesive and a nation. And, and, and I, look, I look at Australia and I see Australia as probably one of the most successful multicultural countries in the world. Uh, you, know, we've, you know, we've got all these people here and, and everyone, uh, we love the place. In fact, you know, people are jumping on boats and that to try to get here. They're not jumping on boats to leave. Uh, you know, I just find this, this whole thing in regard to, uh, you know, trying to split us as people, and yet we have so much to celebrate uh, as a nation. Now, we got rid of all the, uh, the, the, the discriminatory laws years ago, back in the 60s. Uh, we, uh, Aboriginals have been full participation uh, within the Australian society, and you, and you see the number of Aboriginals going through universities now, record numbers. We have hundreds of doctors and hundreds of lawyers, even though I don't know if lawyers, uh, you know, help civilization, but that's another thing. And uh, <laughs> we got, <laughs> but we've got all these people, and we've got all these uh, Aboriginal businesses and people doing things, and we should celebrate that. Uh, I, I get a bit, you know, get annoyed when you know we've done and achieved so much, and in an Australia, and Aboriginals have born overseas in the First World War, and the Second World War, and the Korean War, and. And, and in the Malaysian uprising, and also uh, the, the invasion, the, the confrontaze in, in Indonesia invasion, of Malaysia, and also uh, Vietnam, and every war since. And they were very proud uh, people uh, are fighting for their country, 
and, and all Australians respect them and love them for doing that. And I think we need to celebrate those things. That's what we have to do.